anime, attractive women, and AI. To an activist, it's kryptonite. Developers, designers, downgrade and destroy. Ill-informed he-she's posing as games journalists. Lack creativity, talent, and imagination. So, of course, AI is woke media's natural enemy. For it does what they cannot. Dream. But what harm is an attractive woman? A digital one at that. Well, we know who is harmed. The poor, sensitive, and injured, unloved ones. Woe is they them. They're triggered once every ten minutes, for everything is an attack. They keep begging us to be allowed to live. But that's all we want, too. Weird. Maybe you heard about the Indiana Jones movie that flopped. Or, even more likely, you didn't. <laughs> if you're like me, seeing the unibrow kid and this alien-human hybrid that is calling itself resourceful, beautiful, daring, and self-sufficient. That's a literal line from the trailer, by the way. Telegraphed right off the bat that it's going to be insufferable. Just really ramming home that creatively bankrupt, like, formulaic, designed by committee trash that deserved to flop. And if that wasn't enough, this stunning and brave feminist, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, is the person behind the upcoming Tomb Raider series. And when discussing breasts, they made it clear that they won't be realizing the Lara Croft that was popular, but a tiny titty version that can slip through crevices and rocks. And I'd rather slide my girth in and out of a rock crevice than spend another second talking about yet another hilarious representation of what's a woman, a sexy woman. To these types. A the Jamaican bear come for see what I go on. Looking for woman, black, white, and Indian. They killed Star Wars, made Star Trek for morons, ladied up Terminator. MCU writers must have just succumbed to schizophrenia. I know trans and identity people clearly got involved with Doctor Who because that show started hating itself. Disney wasting so much money in the midst of the West struggling, thinking Chinese concentration camp motherfuckers for letting them shoot their Mulan movie, you know what I mean? It'd almost be based, just what a middle finger in the face of everybody without, man, you know, just throwing that money away. But the wildest of all to me, as a black man that can appreciate Lord of the Rings, Amazon found a way to make it boring, ugly, woke, and unappealing. Couldn't stop there either. Marketing needed to wheel out some token black people to squawk about how how relevant and important and this is revolutionary. You know what I mean? Propaganda, propaganda. You know, get your get your kid in front of that TV and have him go, Oh my god, that's me. Oh my god, that had the same skin color as me. Bruh. Because the only way y'all ever going to appreciate anything is if exactly you are depicted in it, right? And you're fully aware that no one would ever like anything that you could produce, which is why the only chance, not the best chance, the only chance you have is to take somebody else's property that either a person or a group of certainly less diverse people made and try to ruin it, corrupt it, twist it with your bullcrap and twisted metal cuck Anthony Mackie is still out here missing the point of representation being meaningless when the quality is significantly worse than what a robot could mix up with a couple of prompts. I apologize. I said it once before, but it bears repeating now. Race swaps, gender swaps, insufferable characters, writing worse than AI, but please come see our movie, please. As Miles Morales said in Into the Blackerverse, I'ma do my own thing, you know what I mean? I'm Miles Morales, I'm Miles Morales. Give me your credit card, I don't know, you know, sorry. Maybe that's what I want you to do. Links in the description. <laughs> 
triggering some of these people is as easy as a big titty picture of Lara Croft. But did you see Baldur's Gate has romance with animals in their games? Or animal shapeshifters? Man, I don't know. But the funniest part about this, we'll be watching the same activists and designers and game journalists that hate attractive women love and defend this bear love because they're degenerates. <laughs> Stay tuned for an exploration of the hypocrisy as it unfolds. Is, uh, keep them happy with drugs and computer games. Developer Rocksteady has banned me after calling attention to feedback and it's polarizing upcoming always online live service sushi squad game because those have done so well lately here's just a list of some of the either shut down or development ceased projects of the live service variety in the description is a link to the youtube video compilation of feedback surrounding the sushi squad game kevin conroy the batman that many fans may have grown up with passed at the time that this was being promoted and after lending his talents to the game, to only have that held behind an always online sort of rental in the midst of a bunch of these games shutting down, what well, that's classic Warner Brothers. I committed the cardinal sin of calling attention to the fact that they have joined DC, who currently has Lois Lane looking like a boy, and a previously ginger boy black now. Honestly, who cares? Add it to the pile of garbage and canceled CW shows, you know? But why in a video game must women be downgraded so? You can make them look like anything. And I'm certain their real-life actresses don't look this bad. They're deliberately Doris from Shrekking them. To the point where AI can effortlessly do better. They hope to sell microtransactions, though, in their live service. Keep coming back. We need money for servers and to develop more to finish the game. Oh, and beautiful jiggle physics in Genshin Impact. Sexy, fat booty woman in Fortnite is your immediate competition. Content cadence crazy. They've given the tools to people to create their own things for other people to enjoy. What are you thinking? I watched a video yesterday with some cuck uh, calling women in Dead or Alive unrealistic. Not in, uh, you know, how titties defy gravity to give them the, the jiggle that chefs kiss excellence, but in a because of how they're shaped way, they might as well have been saying all women around me are actually men with long hair with scheduled hours for them to cry every day. Because what you mean these women look unrealistic? This is Selma Hayek. She's over 50 years old. Yes, with wealth comes easier access to trainers, proper diet, and excess time to maintain your health through exercise. But it is still, in fact, entirely possible with discipline. <laughs> Setting aside entirely those of us who've won the genetic lottery to effortlessly achieve near-perfect plastic Chad and Stacy status. And if your genjutsu instantly allows you to change genders, mine allows me to go undercover to reinforce your delusion because it only widens the gap. You're digging yourself deeper and reinforcing the division. The cops would be proud, motherfucker. Hogwarts Legacy was an embarrassing display. On the side of trans people, activists, games journalists, and other parts of the establishment who also push their borderline Islamic progressive nonsense as disgusting representatives of, of your cause are pulling out their implants on the Capitol lawn, man. It's just got to be in proximity of kids or you can't get your rocks off, right? <laughs> they made a bad people list for Hogwarts Legacy. Anybody who's playing it, you're going on this list. Or at least that was the intent. What they actually created was something that would scrape. And, and so some people didn't even play the game, but they were on the list, you know, because it was this thing was made by a trans person. You did your best, you know, they made a girl cry or, or that articles were written and dismissed her as merely a cisgender white girl only to realize that she was Jewish. In her response, y'all made a Jewish girl cry after making lists of niggas playing a video game. 
They, them, in their racism, constantly likened the fictional hook-nosed goblins to Jews because, I guess, they work in a bank. But we the racist ones. They try transplaining to a war survivor that Hogwarts legacy is actually genocide. They bullied prominent VTubers losing previous allies to their brain damaged cause. They made a clunky flash game to try and guilt trip people into not playing it. They were forced to apologize to JK Rowling for slander and libel. But best of all, they inadvertently reverse bud lighted Hogwarts into something that most of us would support by buying extra copies because we're going to vote with our wallet to send our message now. When they didn't get their way, they sought to spoil the ending for others. And what's astonishing about that is I read Harry Potter books back in the day when they came out and people would drive around hanging out the window screaming who kills who, who dies to try to spoil it for people. These are the same people doing it for the same reason. They're jerks. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now consumers are ready to send their own message. Amazon's starting to sift through the couch for change, asking questions about where all the money that they've been wasting on trash like Lord of the Rings, but the black people edition, right? Because it couldn't just be Lord of the Rings with black people. It had to be identity Lord of the Rings. And they've also made other garbage that neither of us have heard about. So why even get into it? You know what I mean? But they're wasting more money on that than, than anything that you've probably ever actually seen. So, I'm not telling you how to spend your money or your time, but I do seek to inform anyone unaware that unfortunately, when you're making Cleopatra black, you're going full Freddy Got Fingered with the money. But here's the thing, at the very least, Tom Green made a coherent and amusing movie. Black Cleopatra isn't just embarrassing, it telegraphs the idiotic and small creatives behind projects who, instead of shutting up and allowing us to respect the hustle, when clearly anything can be greenlit if you're the right color or right gender these days, y'all out here woke speaking and forcing just like brain damage out there to make it apparent that you won't stop until everything's destroyed. Two nights ago, I'm playing a trivia game with Stream and it asks the lyrics to Rebecca Black's Friday. Most of us can't recall, but some in fact had never heard of the song. Time flies. Trying to explain it, it had me realizing how forced and cringy and clearly untalented this girl thrust into the spotlight because of behind the scenes factors was. But now, hilariously, Rebecca Black's Friday is the caliber of media that we're seeing executed on TV, movies, and in our games. Not because the talent isn't available, but because talent is being ignored in favor of a minority using diversity as a shaming and guilt tactic to force their way into properties they have no problem making unprofitable because only their agenda matters. At least Rebecca Black needed money for her trash to see the light of day. On its own, it's harmless and ironically amusing. But imagine if everything was Rebecca Black's Friday. That's where we are right now. You don't have to imagine. You've likely witnessed content you're expected to pay for with writers and people less talented than a 14-year-old on TikTok. Girls less attractive than a Twitch girl or a McDonald's waitress. And... <laughs> AI made this prompt. With respect to my old lady GPU, it was as easy as typing in some words. The thing is, people work hard and just want to enjoy themselves before going right back to that grind. Whatever hellscape the establishment is trying to force down people's throats, it'll only inch people ever closer to the greatest threat imaginable, an educated society. But it's much worse than just education. My favorite part about the most vocal people in the identity communities is that they can never take no for an answer. Their preference must be accepted, but other people are not allowed a preference that's bigoted.
most of society could have been kept glued to quality brain-numbing schlock to keep them cheering and farting and shoving their faces full of whatever brands you unsubtly slip into their media. But now, they're online listening to schizos like me. And thank you for listening, Beta Tester. Press that chest up against the like and subscribe button and join the Discord and become a supporter of this content. I look forward to filling you soon. I don't know, man. You make a better outro. To the patrons and sponsors, thank you.